Today we're creating hungry shape monsters. You simply need construction paper, scissors, glue, and a little creativity. This is a great early math activity for your kids. All right, guys, mom has the table set up. Come on in here. I'll show you what we're doing today. Whoa! We are going to wow. make shape monsters. Wow! Uh -huh. So I've already cut out some shapes. You can choose a shape that I've cut out or cut out your own. And you can add things like the eyes and the nose and the mouth and create your own shape monster. Are you ready? Yeah! Okay, here we go. To create your shape monster, have your child choose what shapes they want to use. Now, if you have a little one that might have a hard time using the scissors to cut out shapes, you could cut them out for them and have them sitting out already for them on the table. But if you have an older child that may have a lot of fun choosing what shapes they want to use, they can cut them out themselves. Once they choose their shapes, they can create their own shape monster. And you might end up with something like this. All right, so there's triangle. Triangle! All right, there's circles. Oh, for the nose. And, uh, what are you gonna make, Rach? What shape are you using? I need a black piece of paper. Oh, here's some. I'm gonna use Silas. I like his nose. I'm gonna use two white pieces. That's eyes. Nice. Looking good. All right, what do what I What can I use for the mouth? Hmm. I know what I can use. What do you want? You need me to reach them for you? No. You got it? A one of these. <gasps> oh, Silas, I like that. Look what I did. Is it like what a big I mouth did. frog? I got two eyes. Silas had so much fun as he got to choose what shape he put on his shape monster. He was running around the table. He even got to use scissors, which is a really big deal for a four-year-old. I need to cut this. Can I cut it? Yes, you may. This way. You're doing great. Oh yeah, that looks happy. Or you can use yeah, and this looks sad. Yeah, black. It does look kind of sad, doesn't it? And then you can make white. Well, you want it sad or happy? Happy. I'm trying not to look. It's so tempting. Can I look? Can I tell? Not yet. I will tell you his Open. mouth. <gasps> wow, look at all those circles you added. I like it. This is not a that one can I hmm. Building a shape monster gave my kids independence as they chose what shapes they used. Also, as I asked them questions, I think it gave them confidence because they knew how to answer those questions. So Rachel, you chose a pentagon. Tell me how many sides does a pentagon have? Five sides. Good job, five sides. And if there wasn't something they knew, I could just help them through it. I don't know, I bought smaller teeth. Oh, I still don't want. you could cut them smaller. Look, use that triangle and you can go ahead and cut. Yeah, there you go. Open. Benjamin, what are you working on over there? Are you working on eyeballs? No, the mouth. The I'm mouth? I'm only doing one eye. Oh. A one-eyed monster. Wait. Look, brother did a one-eyed monster. They got to learn about shapes, but also get to use their hands building it. So it really connected the mind with the body as they learned. Now let's add some feet. What do you think? A feet for this. Now, what shape is this? A what tangle? A rectangle. Right oh, we need to cut two and put them right there. Now, let's see. What else can we add to your heart? I need hands. Some hands. What are you going to use for his hands? What shape? And more rectangles. More rectangles. Awesome. What? Woo! You lost your shape. It was really sweet to see Benjamin give his shape monster to Silas. That really melted my mama heart. Let me see. He's giving it's you a his shape to number block. Oh, Benjamin, that's wonderful. Your favorite number, 100. <laughs> my husband has one eye! What do you, yes, what do you say to brother? <laughs> Look at my kitty monster. I love it, Rachel. Next, we're doing a really fun game I like to call Feed the Hungry Shape Monster. The kids get to have a scavenger hunt where they find the shapes and then they get to put the shape that corresponds into the hungry monster's mouth. Now, do you see something in this room that's different that has never been here before? Those. Yes. They're neat, aren't and they? Those. And those, yes. Well, these guys over here, you know how we made monsters earlier? Well, these monsters are hungry monsters. And you see their shapes? Yes. Okay, what shapes do you see? Mm -hmm. Um, rectangle, circle, square, and triangle. Okay, well, Mama has hidden shapes all around this room. You're gonna find the shapes and after we find them, we're going to feed them. We're going to put them in the bowl. We're going to feed the hungry monsters. Whoa. Whoa. We're gonna put them in. On the count of three. One, two, three, go. Go find them. Chop, chop, chop. Feed them, feed them, guys. Feed them. Feed them at the very end or now. There's more shapes. Oh, 
careful, bench. <gasps> there you go. Yay! Yay! Go feed him. I found Rachel one. Rachel found one. Nope. Yes, come here. A circle and a rectangle. Oh, that was so cool. A circle. Where's the circle monster? I think. Is it you? No. Is it you? No. Is it you? Oh. Nobody wants the circles. Hmm. Hmm. Who wants a green square? Let's see. Is it you? <laughs> Who's hungry for the rectangle? No, 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 no. Who wants to eat a triangle? <laughs> I think this activity went really, really well. My kids got to learn and have fun. They also got to have a great scavenger hunt and find the shapes. And who doesn't want to feed a hungry shape monster? It was a really fun activity for me and for the kids. Hi, I'm Carolyn, and this is my friend Phoebe. Hi. I love when Carolyn babysits because we always do fun craft projects together. One of our all-time favorites is a bouquet made out of egg carton flowers. I love it because the flowers never go bad. And I love to paint. In just a few easy steps, you can make your own bouquet perfect for springtime, Mother's or Father's Day. We'll show you how. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the supplies you'll need. You'll need acrylic paint, brushes, paper plates for palettes, scissors, water, the bottom of an egg carton, paper towels, and pipe cleaners. The first step is the best, paint. That's right, Phoebe. To get started, just paint the inside of your egg carton and then flip it over and do the outside. Each cup will be one flower, and you can paint them however you like. What color are you using? I'm making a lot of purple ones. Ooh, good choice. Why purple? It's my favorite. Plus, then it'll match my room. Hmm. When kids make simple decisions, like picking a paint color, they're actually developing their critical thinking skills. Now that we've finished the inside, let's flip it over and paint the outside. One reason I love crafting with kids is that it helps them with their hand-eye coordination, which is helpful for so many things like writing and playing sports. And plus, it's a great way for kids to practice counting in a fun way. One, two, Three, four, five. Great job. Thank you. Now that we're finished, let's let these dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. While we wait, let's sing Mary, Mary, Quite Contrary. That's a flower song. That's a great idea. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. <laughs> Great job. Now that the cartons are dry, I'll poke little holes in the bottom with scissors. Now I'll cut out each flower. And I'll pick out the stems. This part is a bit tough, so an adult really needs to do it. Six for me, and two, three, four, five, six for Carolyn. Okay, now we'll add the stems. Just make a little loop around your finger, like this, so that the pipe cleaner stays in place. And there you go, for you. <laughs> Beautiful. The 
last step is cutting petals into the cups. You can cut a lot and have little petals like this. Or if you cut just a few times, you get big petals like this. Or you can leave them as is. I want big petals. <laughs> you got it. Here are your scissors. Beautiful egg carton bouquets, perfect for decorating or gifts. Try this project at home and let us know how it goes by hashtagging your photos and videos with Mother Goose Club or by tagging us here on YouTube. And tune into our YouTube channels to find lots of fantastic videos for you and your kids. Thanks for dropping by and happy crafting. <laughs> In this video, we're going to show you how to make these beautiful valentines with your kids. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carolyn, and these are my good friends Phoebe. Hi. And her little sister Kira. Hello. Carolyn's the best babysitter ever. We always do craft projects together. Well, I'm glad you like my projects because crafting is so good for your brains. It promotes creativity, and it teaches kids how to problem solve when things don't turn out exactly as planned. And doing a craft project is a great way to practice fine motor skills, which we need for writing. You are so smart. Today, we're gonna show you how to make these beautiful valentines using a toilet paper tube as a stamp. We'll show you how. For this craft, you're gonna need some construction paper, a pencil, some safety scissors, some toilet paper tubes, paper plates, and some paint. The first step is to make a paper heart. Just fold your construction paper in half like this. Good job. And then you draw a half of a heart as a cutting guide. Just be sure to start at the crease. Phoebe can do this step by herself, but I'm gonna help Kira and draw the line with her. Good job. See, it's a half a heart. And then just cut it out. If you're not comfortable with your kids using scissors, you can always start them with a pre-cut heart and just let them do the decorating. Let's see. Yay! Beautiful. To decorate our cards, I'm gonna show you how to make stamps out of a toilet paper tube. I love this trick. You just flatten the tube like this and then fold one end in like that. See, it's a heart. Now just dip it in the paint and stamp away. Here's another nifty trick. You can also make a flower stamp. Phoebe, can you show us how? Love to. You just smush the tube to make a petal shape like this. Then you dip it in the paint and stamp it on, connecting each petal at one end. What a beautiful flower. Wow, I love it. And another option is that you can simply just use the tube as a circle stamp. Okay, guys, let's make more valentines. I'm gonna make flowers this time. I'm gonna do hearts and flowers. Great idea. Guys, these turned out great. You're gonna make a lot of people very happy. Carolyn, we made this one for you. Aw, thanks guys. And I made these for you. Thank <laughs> you. Aw, thanks. <laughs> Try making these Valentines at home with your kids and send us a photo or video to show us how they turned out. 
and tune into our YouTube channels to find lots of fantastic videos for you and your kids. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So type in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye. Goose Club Playhouse!